what was your most exciting role? Um, I'd have to say, hands down, is when I auditioned for EastEnders and got the part. Mm. Yeah. It was like a dream come true. It really was. Yeah. Because that was one of my goals, mm. to be on EastEnders. Yeah. Um, and I was just over the moon when I got that role, because mm. I auditioned for it, I think, on the Friday, and then I got the call from my agent on the Monday saying that I got the part. That's you insane. Know. Some um, week as well. Really, yeah. And it was like two scenes as well, two really good scenes. Mm. You know, it's a, you know, it's only a small role, but it was, no, it was a great, it was a great, it's a yeah. great part. You know, mm -hmm. and it was a big scene because it, like a lot of the, a lot of the cast were in that scene. Mm -hmm. So it's like half of the square come out to mm -hmm. see what was going on in that, you know, in that sort of in that yeah. scene. You know, but now that was probably hands down one of the well, mm -hmm. it's probably the best day in my acting nice. career. Um, but like, w w was it challenging? Like the the actual role was it challenging for you? Yeah, yeah. there's just so much to do in that scene. Mm. So much. So yeah, how how many takes did it take to film the scene? Um, you only get a couple of takes, mate. Mm. They give you well. Oh yeah, of course, because like it's like a soap, so it's it's, it's, very it's really because there's like five cameras mm -hmm. on you. Do you know what I mean? And it's, yeah. But they did change my lines at the very last minute. Of course they did. Um, oh, I was like, oh shit, and I knew the way it was written, it didn't roll off the tongue mm -hmm. and I thought I'm going to trip up on these lines yeah. I know I am and the more you know you know the more you think about it of course you know you're going to trip up yeah right? so I tripped up on these lines and I, I done about three takes and I was like oh shit and I started panicking I thought no just bring it back come back to the present moment and mm -hmm. just chill out mm -hmm. so I went up to the director I said would you mind if I change a couple of words mm -hmm. and he said no it's absolutely fine and then nice. bingo I just mm -hmm. I, I managed to nail it yeah in two takes i've done it in two takes mm. and um and you can't you can't imagine the relief i had when when, when it started flowing do you know yeah, what i mean of course yeah you know because you because you are under pressure yeah because they've only got a certain amount of time to, mm -hmm. to do you know those scenes mm -hmm. and i thought i don't want to let i don't want to let the rest i don't want to let the director down i don't want to yeah. let the rest of the cast down mm -hmm. you know and um and uh, basically at lunchtime i went into the bbc cafe and um, I met, I don't know if you know the comedian, Brian Connolly. No, I don't think so. No, he was a big, big, big comedian in, mm -hmm. the, in the 90s. And um, he's actually, I don't know if he's still in the EastEnders, but he was in it at the time, big mm -hmm. star in it. And uh, I said, oh man, I said, I just kept messing up my lines. Mm -hmm. I said, don't worry about it. He goes, your first day here? I said, yeah. He said, he said, I've, he goes, I absolutely shit myself when I first started here. He, he said, I had to take a fucking Valium. <laughs> And it just made me laugh, you know. But, um, nice, yeah. but it, you know, it was just so, such a lovely group of people mm. to work with. And it was so, I felt so welcomed, like, you know, because mm. you think, I felt like, oh man, am I going to be like an outsider because I've only got this small little role? Yeah. But they really make you feel like part of the family, you know, mm. on that day. And it's just like, I met these, you know, it's weird, isn't it? When you work on a show or like a film, mm. it's like you've got a new temporary family, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and that's the bit I don't like when you leave that family and, it, and you don't, probably don't see them again, you know? For... <laughs> yeah, most of the time, I mean, like, uh... <laughs> everywhere like there could be some drama or whatever but most of the time especially on like on projects like that because people there they work together for years and years so they they should be kind of like they should be in a good you know relationship between each other otherwise yeah. it's just like it, it, it's not a job it's hell <laughs> you know, and it's so well, yeah. nice to get in there because they do that day in and day yeah. out do you know what i mean the, you yeah. know the main cast of that they're working they work they don't hardly get any time off you know on those mm. shows yeah you know and when you go on that the Al albert square when mm -hmm. you go on albert square it's exactly it looks exactly like it does on the television yeah yeah and it's see everything seems so real the set is so real it's unbelievable mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and it's like you're in like you think wow am i dreaming or something you know what i mean i'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in this show nice you know 